Hi, my name is uh, Master Angio, class of uh, 2020. I ran a uh, track in cross country while I was here at Jesuit, and I currently run track and cross country for the University of Portland. Being a track and cross country athlete at Jesuit taught me so much. Um, it's definitely like, the foundation of who I am today. A lot of that came from the teachers, Coach Lang, Coach Zelke, Coach Lai, Coach Whiskell. I think a lot of those things were uh, just you know hard work, perseverance, just the value of that. Um, and you know, you, you see that like, in the classroom, on the track, just everywhere in life. Um, I think those those have been the lessons. You know, it's you know it's hard, but uh, I think that's that's what stuck with me the most. That uh, you know, doing the hard things gets you where you want to be. Um, I think the one that I would want to be would be the one that uh, stuck it out with soccer. Um, you know, my brother Nick. Uh, it was uh, class of 22. He played on our soccer team here. He plays for St. Mary's now, and I think it would have been really fun if uh, we were sharing the pitch together in high school. And uh, you know, I think that'd be a fun one. I, think I would have to go back to my sophomore year and uh, winning that first that first state championship in track uh, against actually my <laughs> my future uh, collegiate teammate Justin Hazel, who's actually one of my best friends. And just doing that when no one, not even really me or coach or my parents really thought that it was gonna happen that day and just having it happen, I just remember I, the joy I felt in that moment, uh, kind of the moments afterwards and you know, seeing all the people that I love just freaking out really. Even if you go back and watch the video on uh, the Jesuit Track YouTube channel, like even like Coach Lang, the camera gets all shaky. It's it's really cool because I think it was just uh, it was just so crazy and no one really thought it was going to happen and you know it's it's definitely the feeling that I think you know when when it gets really hard it's that's the feeling that I think about and that's you know that's that's what we chase. I would say must-haves if, uh, if the Kings are playing you got to see a Kings game. Um, if it's the summer um, I love Folsom Lake and going boating and yeah, you know, going downtown and catching up with my friends and family, that's, uh, those are the most important things. I definitely say, you know, it, it, it was kind of a buildup. Um, both of my parents rank collegiately, uh, my dad for Cal Poly, my mom for UC Davis. And, um, you know, I kind of always knew I was the fast kid, you know, in elementary school and middle school. Uh, and kind of just getting here um, and, you know, coming to high school and, you know, not really being super aware of how fast I was going to be until kind of getting the call or I guess the text from Coach Lang inviting me to come to uh, the Top 14 Tahoe camp my freshman year um, and that was kind of the moment that was when I decided to quit soccer um, that was kind of the moment I was like okay this is this is I think what is for me uh, and just kind of that whole summer with uh, the guys I've been hanging out I was blessed to have two really, really awesome seniors and Brendan Jones and Ben Holland uh, and just a really great team with everyone else uh, that just made me feel so included from the day I came in as an awkward freshman who knew no one. The building up to that and then getting me going on that trip and just having a ton of fun and then, you know, just really just kind of committing to it and just letting letting it all happen. I think it was, you know, once once we went on that trip, it was, that was, that was running was gonna be my life. I would say it's just the experience of it all. Um, you know, I'm fortunate enough to have competed on some of the highest stages, some of the best stages even in the world uh, at NCAA championship meets, uh, this very recently at the US championship meet for track and field. Um, and you know, I think it's just it's those experiences and getting to run against people that you, know, you grow up idolizing that's really just kind of just been really, really cool. Um, and it's just, just been so fulfilling. The most trivial thing that I have a very strong opinion about is that the cooler lunchbox that we do here at Jesuit is just, this is the best lunchbox. I, I don't think you can beat it. Uh, it. It keeps your food cool. You know, it's really easy to carry around. It's, uh, you know, some other lunchboxes you might say you prefer to put it in a backpack, but then your food gets all smashed. You know, it's that cooler is protecting your sandwich. Uh, you know, it's something I still do in college even. If, uh, you know, if, if I have where I need to eat something between classes, I'll usually just shove it in my, the same cooler I used in high school and 
just bring it to class. I'll even have people be like, why are you, why are you bringing that around? I'm like, it's because I have a sandwich in there. I don't want to get crushed, and I'll, I want you know the the strawberries to be cool or you know whatever is in there just to be the temperature I want it to be, and it's it's, it's perfect. You know, I remember even when I got here, I was like, why do they do that? But I was like, well, I'm not gonna be the only guy without a out a cooler, and it was it was definitely the best decision I ever made, and <laughs> I couldn't can't believe I was using something else before then. 